Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, March 19, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over here at Etero where you can follow our trades and also copy our trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly. We're up... Uh, roughly 0.75% for the US dollar. We did not uh, break the previous highs here. So we're just underneath. So, but this is a very uh, bullish candlestick. So if we manage to take out these highs, then we most likely will head towards these previous highs of roughly 92.50 and then the 200 moving average. Technical indicators here are, well, either flat or bearish. So the RSI is flat, the CCI is flat, the stochastic is bearish, and the MACD is flat at this current stage. So we found major support here at the 20 exponential. So at this point, we have basically been bouncing off the 20 exponential twice or three times the last few weeks. So let's look at oil, which basically fell apart today. So we fell all the way down to the 50 moving average. So we crashed through the 20 exponential in the middle of the Bollinger Band and had an also crashed to 60 and then all the way down to the 50 moving average before rallying a little bit. So it is a minor pullback. It's not a significant pullback. It's not to the half of this candlestick. So this means basically that we could continue falling lower towards uh, 55. Or we could see this basically stabilize and then continue rallying. There are basically those two options at this current stage. Technical indicators for the daily chart are looking uh, terrible. But the 50 is tested. It hasn't been tested for a really long time. We have to go all the way back here to November to see basically the crossing of the 50 moving average. Uh, otherwise, we have been bouncing off the 20 exponential but now we are testing the 50 and it's going to be interesting to see whether or not we manage to hold it here. If this breaks, then we could head way all the way down to 55 before, before finding support. So let's look at uh, natural gas. And you can see here that we have bro uh, broken through the 200 moving average. We went all the way down to 2.4476 before rallying. We are still uh, right underneath the 200 moving average. If we get another red candlestick here tomorrow, that could basically open the door to much, much lower levels. Um, Technical indicators, they are either flat or bearish at this point. Sarcastic is flat. The CCI, uh, RSI is flat, the CCI is bearish, and the MACD is basically bearish as well. So we have been falling basically off a cliff since we reached the highs here of 3.08, and now we're trading at 2.5030. So let's look at copper. So copper, yet again, we have basically been bouncing off the 20 exponential now for the last two weeks. We rallied yesterday significantly and today we basically fell apart, but basically ended it right here at the 20 exponential. Technical indicators, they are either bearish or flat. So MACD is bearish, the CCI, the stochastic is flat, CCI is bearish and the RSI is bearish. Break below the 20 exponential opens the door to the bottom of the Bollinger Band here at 3.95. And then all the way down to the 50 moving average at 3.83. Rallies from here will most likely find resistance at uh, 4.2. So let's look at gold. So gold tried to rally above the 20 exponential. We also broke down towards uh, uh, 1719. But we ended right underneath the middle of the Bollinger Band. So... It looks like we are about to turn around here. So technical indicators, they are slowly turning around. We're still all in basically in, uh, in bearish territory. MACD is uh, underneath zero. Stochastic is still bullish. CCI is turning around and the RSI is turning around. So it is fairly likely that we'll head towards the bottom of the bullish band or these previous lows at this point. If we manage to rally above here, then we could head towards the 50 moving average at 17.96. So let's look at silver. 
So silver has rallied towards the the 50 minute week average and very similar here broke down at this moment uh, it is also very likely that we'll see this basically break to the downside as we have tested the 50 minute week average and the 20 exponential several times now and have not managed to break through this so at the moment more likely that will head towards the bottom of the bullish band or to the 200 minute week average so $25 have, has offered quite a lot of support in the past, so probably a rally from there. So let's look at Platinum. So Platinum has rallied above the middle of the Bollinger Band and uh, then gave most of those gains back. So at this point, it is, it is if you look at Technic English, then we have the Stochastic that is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat, and the MACD is flat. So at this current stage, it is fairly difficult to basically say whether or not we break to the downside or break to the upside. This is not a very uh, not a very bullish candlestick. So it could favor basically the downside, but it's basically I would stay away from this. It's just a complete gamble at this point. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium has absolutely taken off. So we have been trading within this um, square for a really 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 long time and now we've basically broken through um basically this consolidation here we're trading where we went all the way up towards uh, 2.739 and if we look at the bullish banner for example we can see that we were way 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 outside of the bullish band at this moment it is uh, more likely that we'll basically pull back as we are significantly overstretched and also significantly overbought technical negotiations are all in are very bullish at this point but uh, rallies like this you can just look at bitcoin and so on they not, cannot last forever they will pull back we can see what would happen here we also fell all the way back towards the middle of the bullish band before continuing rallying so this move is very similar to what basically occurred here so let's look at uh, aluminium So aluminium has uh, broken down today again. Technically, the they are all becoming very show. It looks like we are heading back towards the middle of the bullish band at the twenty one fifty five. Um, twenty exponential has offered um, quite a lot of support in the past, so it is very likely that we'll bounce from there. Break below the twenty exponential opens the door to the bottom of bullish band here at twenty ninety one and the fifty moving average at the twenty sixty six. So let's look at nickel. So nickel continues just to trade sideways. So it is um, as long as we're here, we'll most likely run, run into the 20 exponential and then we'll basically see whether or not we rally above it or break down. We have not tested a 200 moving average yet, but uh, there's not a lot of movement here. So technical indicators are, are not a lot of God help either because they're all flat at this current stage so let's look at sugar so sugar continues to fall so yesterday i said that uh, due to the fact that we have tested uh, 20 and 50 so this often it usually happens that you basically break to the downside if you don't manage to break to the upside technically they are all becoming bearish at this point so it is more likely that will head towards 0 0.1554 which is the previous lows here um, and rallies up towards the 20 exponential and 50 they will most likely be sold into at this point so let's look at cotton so cotton also fell today towards the 50 moving average it is looking very bearish for cotton as well if we break the 50 moving average then we could head towards the bottom of the bullish band at 0 0.83 39 technical indicators are all turning around and are looking very bearish we are in basically uh we're in the massive pullback towards the 50 moving average we're still in this uptrend but it is looking more and more dire for for cotton at this current stage so let's look at Kakoa. So Kakoa has rallied towards the middle of the Bollinger Band and then given most of those gains back. It is, it is, well, it's the same thing. It is basically um, going everywhere. I would stay far, far away from this 
because it's completely untradeable at this current stage. This current stage. So let's look at wheat. So wheat continues to fall. We are at the bottom of the Bollinger Band and also within this range that has proven to be quite a lot, quite significant support in the past. This is a very bearish candlestick. So I don't be surprised if we fall even lower from here. Technical indicators are all looking very bearish at this point. So it is not looking very uh, nice for uh, wheat. Rallies from here will most, find, most likely find some resistant uh, by the 20 exponential as we have seen in the past and the 50 is also above which it also will offer even more resistant so hope you found this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to follow us here on eTro and copy or trace the link is down below good luck and thank you very much